Hi, and welcome to another Tracker Special here on City TV. We are going all the way to Armenia to speak to Ghanaian-American professional basketball player Denzel Mensa. Now, Denzel, um, the last time around when he was in Ghana was in the studios of City TV. At that time, he was a free agent after playing with Valencia. This time, he's taken his skills all the way to Armenia and plays for BKMA Yerevan, the basketball uh, pro team and the pro A-League in Armenia. We're going to find out exactly what has led him to Armenia and what it's been like uh, out there already. Denzel, if you can hear me. I can hear you. Nice one. L let's, let's get the conversation going real quick. I, I remember when you were down here in Ghana a while ago, we were talking about your uh, options during free agency and you even mentioned to me at a point that you would probably look to take your skills to South America somewhere. And then, boom, you hit me with the um, news that you are turned up in Armenia and you are playing in the A-League out there. Just, just briefly tell us um, what went into that particular decision to pick the Armenian A-League. Uh, the Armenian A-League has shown that it can get you to a high level of uh, the top level of Europe. That's my goal. I want to play in the Euro Cup or the Euro, the Euro League. So that's the most important thing to me. So it's just a step to get to another step, to get to another step. So it's just me showcasing my skills in Europe and showing FIBA that I can play. I mean, um, Armenia is not typically the most visited country in Europe. Tell me about what it's like out there in Armenia. I mean, has, has there been some kind of culture shock for you and, and what's been the adjusting process? Um, for me, uh, it's, it's quiet. It's, I'm in the capital, Yerevan. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's not super loud. It's um, people very nice here, very welcoming. Uh, literally today, I got stopped by like five people saying, oh, good game and stuff like that on Sunday. Um, it's very home feeling, you know, not too busy. You know, uh, everybody's pretty nice. So I, I like it here. I like it here. And it's a place that you want to work at. It's like it keeps you focused. Hmm. I, I, I like that. No distractions, a place where you can just get to exactly. work. Exactly. Tell, tell exactly. me about the basketball culture in Armenia because you, you already talked about people walking up to you and giving you, I mean, thumbs up for a good game. How much do the people of Armenia like their basketball and how much of a basketball culture exists in that country? So I was surprised. I didn't think it was going to be that strong. Um, but the last, the last week I've been here, um, I've been getting welcomed by a lot of fans, uh, a lot of DMs, a lot of uh, people coming up to me just saying hello. Uh, I don't understand them, but I can tell they're saying hello and uh, <laughs> good game because they speak Armenian and Russian here. Um, but I feel welcomed here. So it's a, it's a great thing to be here. Hmm. Now, um, I'm guessing you've played in what, two or three games already? I uh, played in three games, yeah, so far. I've seen some monster numbers. I mean, what, over 30 points, 16 assists. I, I think you've put up about, you've put up one triple-double already, and you, you came yeah. close to another triple-double sometime, sometime back in one of your first games that I saw. Tell me yes. about, tell me about the, the level of basketball out there. Is it what you expected? Has it been more difficult? Has it been more easy based on where you've um, been and your foundations? No, uh, no, I think it's, it's good competition. It's just I had a lot of work before I came here with uh, the shirt that I'm wearing, Marston Athletics and Ron Hernandez. Uh, both trainers made sure that I was ready to come out here and produce what I need to do to go to the levels I need to get to. And also in the summertime playing against the pros that they brought in for me, the college players they brought in for me, and even the high school players to get me ready for this moment. Hmm. Now, when I when I took time to like look around the league, I think what it's an eight team league, right? Can you repeat that? Eight team league, an eight team league. Yeah, eight. Yes, yeah. yes, sir. I, 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 I see there are quite a number of foreigners, including some Americans like yourself, also in there. Talk to me ab about the level of competition generally uh, in the league itself. You guys are, I believe, um, third on the table. One twelve yeah, lost. Table. Yeah, one twelve yeah, lost twelve. Tell me about the level of competition generally in the league. Um, they're good. I mean, the team that we lost to is probably the best team 
in the league. They're first right now. Um, uh, it's three Americans that play uh, that are allowed to play in the game at one time, and then five Americans allowed uh, on the team. Uh, I think the talent is good. Um, it's evolving, like they said. Um, but I can't complain about the talent. It's not bad talent at all. Hmm. How about the facilities? Um, the arena you play in, the level of even even the level of coverage for media and stuff like that. How is that like? Oh, uh, it's good. Uh, I like the arena a lot. Uh, they let me practice in there anytime I want, so I'm happy about that. Um, uh, the announcers great. You hear if you hear calls of the announcers, they're very enthusiastic. Uh, yeah. They show me a lot of love, so you know <laughs> I enjoy them. Uh, what else? Um, no, nah, the facilities is good. Uh, court, uh, we got projectors, everything. So it's pretty good. I like it. I mean, you're throwing down flashy dunks and stuff like that. So I'm sure it's easy for them to show you a lot of love. But I mean, tell me about getting confidence in your own game because those numbers that you have, you've put up so far in those two games that I've seen, those are those are huge numbers. I mean, it doesn't even matter where it is. Tell me about how. Yeah how that is helping your own confidence in your game? It's helped my confidence a lot, but a lot of people think I'm crazy, but that's not the best I can play, like, at all. It's mm. just getting my feet wet here. Um, I think I can I can play way better. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm shooting about, like, 70% from the field, but I feel like I can shoot better here. Uh, I haven't showed my whole skill set. But I've been productive, and that's the most important thing as a pro, to be productive and improve every game. And my last game, like you said, I got a triple-double. I feel like I'm capable of averaging a triple-double. So I'll definitely put pressure on me to continue to get better and not be satisfied. Averaging a triple-double would be amazing. Um, let's talk about the team itself, BKMA, uh, Yerevan. Uh, I, I, I believe they're in the capital. Um, Tell me a little bit about, about the team itself and the team's objectives for this season. Uh, before I got here, uh, they were, I think, 10 and 11. Uh, we won two games, lost one game. Um, I didn't come here to lose. So I think and my, I told my coaches here, I told the uh, president, I didn't come here to lose. So I'm expecting to win everything that I'm in. So that's the playoffs, that's the Armenian Cup, and that's the Eurasian League. So God willing, I'm able to do it, but I'm really hard on myself. So that's the only thing I can see for right now. Just because I have good stats doesn't mean that I accomplish anything. It's winning that makes your resume better and makes you accomplish things. Now, you mentioned the coach and the president, and I, I'm guessing that they, they are obviously like two people who played a big role in you deciding to move to Armenia and to play for BKMA. Um, what has it been like, first of all, interacting with them and, I mean, helping you to settle down because you don't speak the native language, helping you to get a place, telling you what to eat, where to eat, where not to go and stuff like that. How have they helped you in that process? Uh, they helped me out a lot. I can't complain at all. Um... They make sure that I'm okay. Uh, they have this assistant, Mary, who I can text at any time to let her know if something is going on. If uh, I need uh, something with food, uh, the housing situation, everything is settled by Mary and Lion. Uh, but they make sure that I feel comfortable. And that's the most important thing to me. I'm in a different country, so... As long as I'm comfortable and I'm allowed to get in the gym at any time I want, um, I'm okay. I'm not into the nightlife right here. Uh, I'm just here to just improve, improve every day. So then next year I can go to another level, and then the year after I can go to the next another level. That's, that's definitely um, amazing to hear. Uh, talking about going to the next level, I mean, I, I know you must miss America somewhat, even though you're definitely there to work and you're definitely there to yeah. improve. Um, what's it like between you and, like, the other American players out there? Is there, like, some kind of association, some union? Do you guys get together? What, what's it like? 
Uh, we don't have an association and union, but even with the competitors, it's a it's competitive, obviously, but there's no hate. There's no dislike. It's uh, hey, how you doing? Hope everything's good. I hope you're enjoying the thing. We talk about restaurants and stuff we can go to out here. But um, with my teammates, I DM them all the time about like funny stuff I see on Instagram. We have a good connection. Um, we're getting to get more comfortable with each other game by game. Like the last game, I learned them. I learned about them more than the game before. You know what I mean? And we're just going to keep evolving, keep evolving. So that's a blessing. You know what I mean? This is only my third game here. So like, they'll get more comfortable with my game and I'll get more comfortable with their game with time. Now, explain to me the, the prospects for BKMA if you do well. Do you get a chance to um, go into the FIBA competitions to play in Europe? Yes, that's the Eurasian League. So if we win the playoffs or when we win the playoffs, uh, then we go to the Eurasian League and then we play against Russia uh, and uh, I forgot the other leagues um, that we play against, but it's like six or seven different countries that we play against. And then it's a tournament, and whoever wins, wins the whole league. I mean, explain to me what you need to do to get to the playoffs. Explain that format to me a little. Oh, we're in the playoffs already, but it's yet to be the first six teams. So two teams don't make it out of uh, eight, and then the rest of the six make it. Uh, you compete against each other. And then uh, I think it's uh, first to three wins in each uh, each round. Mm -hmm. So I think it's quarterfinals, semifinals, then finals. And then whoever wins that goes to the Eurasian League, and then hopefully you win that. And then you'll be the winner of the Eurasian League, which is a big thing, which is a big thing. That's the thing that all the teams are gearing up for. Hmm. I mean, that sounds like a lot of tough competition. Um... What are the, I mean, you, you spoke about obviously just improving and, you know, you, you spoke about just getting your feet wet. But um, in terms of targets that you've set for yourself, I mean, what, what are you telling yourself that at the end of my spell here in Armenia, I should have been able to accomplish? I mean, how, how long did you sign even for and how long are you hoping to be around? For the rest of the year. Uh, okay. Basically, I knew I was coming in here for a little bit before playoffs, so uh just so i can get a um a feel of the team and stuff like that before playoffs and then playoffs and then hopefully originally and then i got i did i'm a free agent i guess hmm. what are the objectives for you i mean have you set targets on let's say the I numbers did. the numbers you want to put up <laughs> uh for me it's just uh i'll do in my next game um and dominating i want to be one considered one of the best players ever to come to Armenia. Hmm. Uh, that, that's one of the biggest goals for me. Um, so <laughs> after a game, you'll see me still putting up shots, even if I have a good game or not, because I'm, I'm in competition with myself. That's how I became better. That's how I became the player I am. Um, I don't worry about what other people is doing. I, I just worry about myself and how I can become better, you know what I mean? Look at game film, see what I can improve on, um, see what I can add to my game, and then go from there. Just, just to round this interview up, uh, I, I know you've already played in, in Spain for Valencia, but mm -hmm. what's your dream European league to play in? Like, if you had a chance to cherry pick and say, I want to play in this league or I want to play in this team, where are you going straight to? Uh, the team... Uh, just because of scenery and stuff, I would love to play in Milan, Milano. Uh, but there's one player that I would love to play with, and that's uh, Jordan Lloyd, which is one of my good friends when I was in Valencia. Uh, he's at uh, Moscow right now, right? Yeah, I think Moscow. So uh, he's in Russia right now uh, playing for the EuroLeague. So, and he's doing – oh, sorry, Zenit, Zenit, sorry. Zenit, yeah, Zenit yeah, is in Russia too. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he's in um, EuroLeague right now producing. He's been producing for uh, two, three years now. And it's just a um, conversation of um, anytime I have a question, he answers it and he's there for me. So it's just um, a league that I would want to be in is the EuroLeague, which is the second league after 
the NBA. And that's just me pushing and that's just keeping my goals high. Um, so that's why I wouldn't be satisfied about what I'm doing out here because I got produced in different levels to show that I can play in the Euro League. Mm. Just a quick word out there to the world. I mean, to Americans, to your fans in Ghana, to colleagues, anybody who's listening to you out there, what do you want to tell them? Uh, thank you for all the support. Um, I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Uh, I'm not done at all. I need some silverware to bring back to Ghana and to uh, the States. Uh, I want to be known as a winner. Um, I hope if I'm motivating you, just continue to work, uh, take it day by day, and just trust in God and you can achieve anything you want to achieve. All right, Deuce, thank you very much for sharing your time with us, telling us about the A-League and time in Armenia. Hopefully, we can catch up with you sometime when you're putting up more triple-doubles. Uh, definitely, definitely. Listen, after, after I win this championship, we definitely need to do another interview. Definitely, most definitely. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. So you had Denzel Mensa there, uh, plays for BKMA Yerevan in the Armenian A-League. Uh, he's put up one triple-double already. He's putting up really good numbers so far since arriving in the A-League. He's hoping to make it to the EuroLeague. So we'll definitely keep an eye on him and we'll be charting his progress. Till another time, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. <laughs>